Hi, I'm Michelle Cronister, and I'm part of the go.usa.gov team. I also help manage social media efforts for USA.gov. Both USA.gov and our sister site, GobiernoUSA.gov, post daily updates to Facebook and Twitter. We used to link to information using commercial URL shorteners, and we loved the metrics they offered, but we were concerned about the end user experience since there are no clues about where this URL will lead. This is especially disconcerting because someone could maliciously retweet us and swap out one short anonymous URL for another. If someone did this now, it would be much more obvious. We know users recognize .gov URLs as official sources of government information. That's why we decided to create go.usa.gov. It's still in beta, but anyone with a .gov, .mil, .fed.us, or .si.edu email address can register to use the service right now. It's also open to state and local government employees as we're able to make exceptions. As of this morning, we had 1,484 registered users, including public servants, federal agencies and programs, elected officials, as well as state and local governments. Go.usa.gov takes a long government URL and converts it into a short trustworthy one. It then tracks the number of clicks on this URL in real time and allows users to measure the impact of their outreach. So you may not be convinced yet why this is a good idea. First of all, go.usa.gov URLs are intuitive. Users know they will go to official government information. It also gathers real-time data across government based on what people are clicking on. And this has never really been done before. As more agencies use go.usa.gov, the more valuable the data will become and the better we can gauge citizen interests and needs. You can see the most popular 25 short URLs on the homepage of go.usa.gov right now. You'll notice that the most clicked URL with over 46,000 clicks was the Library of Congress's blog post announcing that they were going to acquire the entire Twitter archive. There's also the Facebook recommendations plugin that shows the most popular go.usa.gov URLs on Facebook right now. It considers all social interactions with our URLs to build this list. This is just one example of what we can do with the rich data we're collecting. The URLs are also permanent by design. They do not change, and we do not presently allow users to edit the destination of a URL once it has been created. This means users know they can always reach the same trusted information. The service is also hosted in the USA.gov cloud, so this means it can scale to meet demand. We're working to make it available to all levels of government, which avoids the creation of redundant services. Both of these save tax dollars. .gov URLs are also inherently secure since there are limitations on who can register a .gov URL. Also, McAfee said that .gov domains are the least risky of any domain in their report mapping the malweb, the world's riskiest domains. We built go.usa.gov in Drupal, which is open source. We used Drupal core, three modules, and a custom theme to glue it all together. The decision to use open source also saved money and allowed development of go.usa.gov in only nine weeks. We were able to do this because of an excellent collaboration across the U.S. General Services Administration, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, and members of the Drupal community. The next thing that we would like to do is build a go.usa.gov API. This will make it easier to integrate the data we're collecting with other tools. We have a lot of data, but right now we can't do a lot with it, and we definitely want to change this. It's also the most requested feature from our current users. We also want more users. As we get more users, we'll collect more data, and it will become more valuable. We Eventually, we would like to allow anyone to use the service without registering for it. And if we decide to do this, we will still keep restrictions on which URLs can be shortened. We also want more collaboration with the user community as well as with the Drupal community. If you're interested in helping, let us know. We're always looking for developers. We're also always looking for new ideas. Since we're still in beta, we definitely want feedback, suggestions, and comments from both registered users and current non-users. So with that in mind, please let us know what you think. You can feel free to email me directly with suggestions or questions. There's also a contact us form on the website. 
You can also get updates about our plans and our service by following us on Twitter or following our blog. Thank you so much. It's been an honor to be here today.